sanctified and glorified the name of the Lord. For he is holy, he is righteous, and he is king. That's our God, our king. He's the ruler of everything. Let's lift his name on high. Come on, Zion, we praise our king. Let's have your praise. Let's have your praise. I'm the ruler of everything. The ruler of everything. Brother Jay, God bless you. How you doing, sir? Minister Pink, God bless you. God bless you. Pastor Blunt, how are you? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in. Minister Booker, God bless you, sir. Hey, Sarita, God bless you, my lovely wife. How are you? Minister Blunt, how are you? Minister D, I see you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Casey. Girl, you're a minister, Jessica. Good afternoon. We're gonna just start here a little bit. We just we're gonna celebrate our king just for a little while until we get some people on here. We're gonna get going here shortly. God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in. We really appreciate you tuning in on this time, Mister Richardson. God bless you. Blessings, blessings, Sister Rachel. How are you? Pastor Philip, God bless you, sir. Victorious. He's a great. Linda Freeman, God bless you. How you doing? We're going to get started here in just a short. Pastor Coffee, God bless you, sir. We love you. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. My Baptist preacher. Bless the pastor. We're going to get started here real shortly. In about 30, about 20 seconds, we're going to go ahead and get started. For the sake of time, I know you all just want to jump in and get encouraged during your lunch break, so I won't keep you long. Pastor Jeffries, God bless you. All right, all right, all right. We're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to get the music out the way. God bless you. God bless each and one of you. And we thank you. We thank you for tuning in. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this wonderful Wednesday. I really, uh, really want to thank you all for just joining in on us. We, you could have did a whole bunch of other things other than tuning in to us right now. But we just really appreciate you joining us each and every day just to be encouraged. We hope and pray that you are being encouraged and God is using us to bless you. God bless you. We thank you. This is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hey, y'all, good afternoon. I'm Pastor Greg, and I am excited about today's mid midday motivation. Again, I just want to take the time to celebrate all of you and thank you for joining us on your busy day for this moment of encouragement. You just don't know what it means to us that you decided just decided to just tune in with us. So we just truly appreciate you and we thank you. But before we get started, will y'all help me celebrate and recognize our visionaries and spiritual parents, Senior Pastor Dr. Lincoln Coffee and Assistant Pastor April Coffee. We love you guys. We truly appreciate all you do. And we just thank you for giving us the opportunity to get on here and let God use us to encourage the people. God bless you, pastors. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, so for the sake of time, we're just going to jump right in. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we just thank you. We thank you for this time, God. We thank you for this moment of encouragement. Oh, God, we ask that your people hear your word, God, that you have prepared for them. God, allow me, God, to be a vessel, God, to just give them the word that you've given me, God. Use me, God, for your glory so that your people are edified, God, and we give you all the glory. Father, we thank you. We honor you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Somebody say hallelujah. All right. So, I mean, Pastor Coffee, he, he started this series on the glory of God, and since he started this series, we've been going at it. and. This past Sunday, he spoke about access and the glory. So today, I just want to spend a few short moments with you since we've already since we already have access to the glory and we know how to exercise our authority in the glory, it's now time for us to walk in his glory and tell him you see my swag. Now for us older Christians, we may say riding the wave of his glory, whereas the younger generations may call it swag surfing. So no matter what it is, or no matter what we call it, we are operating in his glory. And so since that, we, since we are operating in his glory, we have to know how to walk in his glory. Okay, so now for us older people, uh, those of age, when, I hear, when we hear the word swag, we automatically assume that it's talking about a certain dress or type of style. In a way, that's very true. But actual words, in short, is short for swagger, meaning to walk or behave in a very confident way. It's confidence beyond questions, assurance beyond doubt, and it's something God wants every one of us to exercise. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 9 and 10, For I am least of the apostles and do not even deserve to be called an apostle. But, because I because I persecuted the church of God, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace to me was not without effect. No, I worked harder than all of them, yet not, but the grace of God that was with me. So, people of God, who we are is not because of us, but it's because through Jesus Christ, God gave us a certain swag about ourselves, how to carry ourselves, how to walk, how to talk, how to move about ourselves so the world can see. Now, when we, see, when we say see my swag, we're not being arrogant. I'm not being conceited. But I am talking about knowing who we are in Christ. Not running from the devil, but the devil is running from us. I'm talking about in the middle of the night when you wake up from your sleep and you see the devil, you just respond, oh, it's just you. And then you go back to sleep because you're not bothered because you know who you are in Christ and what you are and what we have been given. Now, if we're going to walk in this kind of authority and this kind of power and in this kind of faith, we're going to have to know that it's by God's grace that who we are is who we are. As Christians, we have a continual presence of Jesus within us. And God's protection and provisions is all around us. We know this to be because in Joshua 1, 5, the Bible tells us no one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so would I be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And in Psalms 118 and 6, the Lord says, the Lord is with me, and, and I will not be afraid. What can man do? So when we walk in with this, with this swag about ourselves, when we walk in this continual presence of Christ, there's nothing that, can, that we should be afraid of. There is nothing that can bother us. There is nothing that can bring harm to us. So we have to be confident in walking in Christ. We have to be confident in who we are in Christ. We have to be confident in carrying ourselves to where people can see the Christ in you, where people can see your swag. Listen, so if we are obedient to God and will answer to all our, our he will answer all our calls and provide our every need, no matter what the situation is. Who we are walking in the corners, who we are walking in the corners of God's direction, we have the hand of God upon us. And those that can see have no other choice other than to just see our swag. 
They're going to see you regardless because they see God's hand upon you. They just don't see the God in you. Why? Because God promises always going to be yes and amen. So again, no matter what the situation is, they are going to see you. Therefore, as children of God who are walking in the center of God's will, will not fear any man. For we are all on the power of the living God. There is nothing, I mean nothing on this earth grander than to be adop the adopted child of the through the of the adopted child of God through having Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. With that, we are revealed by God. And what God reveals, he displays his glory and the swag that automatically comes with it. Somebody ought to be excited about this. When God dis when God reveals you, he is automatically going to display display his glory in you. And somebody, everybody will see that. You you will have a certain move about yourself. You're going to walk a certain way. You're going to talk a certain way. You're going to do things different. You're going to act a certain way. Because God has displayed his glory in you. You can see my swag because I walk in the confidence of God. Because Acts 17, 28 says, For in him we live and move and have our, have our being. As some, of your, as some of your own poets have said, we are his offsprings. So, again, they're going to automatically see your swag. You can see my swag because I walk in a confidence, not because God exists and has all the power, but because he's also, he's a personal God. We know that because in Job 10 and 12, he said, you gave me life and showed me kindness. And your providence watched over my spirit. Come on, somebody. He sh God is showing us kindness. He gave us life, but he's showing us kindness. It's people here on this earth that does not show us kindness. But God, the creator of all, is showing us kindness. And he's watching over our spirit. You can see my swag because I walk in a confidence. Because in Galatians 2.20, the Bible says, I've been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in this body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. There's no other words for that. So the God that's living in me, the Christ that's living in me, again, you can't do nothing but see me. You can't do nothing but see the swag that's in me. You can't do, do nothing but see the Christ that's in me. See how Christ is operating in me and through me. So it should be our everyday desire that people see the Christ in you, in your walk, in your talk, in all your actions. People of God, listen. Those who walk in the confidence have allowed the Holy Spirit to place their desires within them and, felt be, and be in fellowship with Christ. God has given us a gift for which he has designed and intended purpose for. Again, God has given us this gift. Whether that gift is swag, whether that gift is confidence, God has given you a gift which he has designed and an, and an intended purpose for. He has a purpose for your life. He has a purpose. He has a purpose for you. No doubt about it. We can spend all our lives on the pleasure of this world and please our flesh, or we can spend our life walking out this swag that God has given us and serving Him. We can take the, our talents, our abilities, our opportunities, and let our swag shine for the glory of God. Everything you do. You have to know how to walk in confidence in it. Whether it's your talent, whether it's your abilities, all the opportunities that are presented before you, let God shine through you. Let the glory of Christ shine. We can walk with our God, we can walk with God in, 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 in this inherited swag because He knows us personally. He said, Behold, I have given you the authority to tread upon a serpent and a scorpion all over the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Let that sink in for a moment. You have been given the authority to tread upon all serpents and scorpions 
over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall, nothing will hurt you. So when we hear that, again, we talk about you see my swag. You truly do see my swag because I'm walking with no problem now. I'm walking at the head of the class. I'm walking through here and ever again, like I said last week, they're just going to get out your way. Nothing that's going to come against you will stand in front of you and not tremble and shake because they see the God in you. They see the glory of God in you. They see that swag that you're displaying. So I just want to encourage you today. I want to just tell you, stay within that. Keep that confidence that you got. We all got it. We all have it. It's there, but we got to let it, we got to let God use us for his glory. Don't be scared. There's nothing to be scared of. There's no one to be scared of. I ain't never scared because why? I have the living God living within me. Hey, y'all, look, I hope y'all enjoyed this today. I know I did. My time is up and I, I just pray that you was encouraged and uh, with today's motivation. And I hope and I pray that it carry you over until next week. I hope you come and join us again next week. Tomorrow, stay tuned for tomorrow because we have on our on, up on next is our little big sister, Pastor Jeffries. And you know when she comes, she comes bringing it. Hey, y'all, God bless you. We love you. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that you have a blessed week. Stay warm, stay safe. And we'll see y'all again this time next week. God bless you all.